beautiful artists and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. This week we are fast approaching a Valentine's Day, so I wanted to do a couple paintings for everyone uh, for the holiday. We're going to do a classic lock and key motif today for our Valentine's, uh, a key to our hearts. And so it's going to be a really simple one. I'm going to use my four standard brushes as per usual. These are the four sizes that I use. They don't need to be the exact same sizes, but they should be something similar. Uh, for today's painting, I'm gonna use my large square wash brush. This is a three quarter inch wash brush. And then I have three pointed brushes of different sizes. I call this guy the medium sized brush, which is a size 10. And then I have two small detail brushes, which are gonna be a size three and a size three over zero. I'm gonna get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. The colors that we have to start with today's background step, we're keeping it really simple with the background with just some cadmium red and some black and white. To see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, check the description box below. It'll not just show you the colors for today's paintings, but you'll also find a link to my materials page, which will show you everything that you need to paint along with me. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. So today's background, really simple, one of my favorite types of backgrounds to do. I'm going to mix up a nice pink with just red and white together and my large brush and a little bit of water. And then I'm going to start in the center here with just some back and forth brush strokes, kind of moving my hand all around to get a nice sort of like spongy texture. And I'm going to start in the center and bring that out towards all corners of my canvas. And what we're going to do with our background is create a little bit of like a frame with a darker background on the edge. But first, let's get plenty of our pink here in the middle. All right. Out pretty far towards the edges to help us with our blending. Really simple background today. And you could do a different background color if you wanted. I thought about doing like a deep maroon maybe, perhaps a purple. Perhaps you don't like pink and you wanna do something completely different. You can do like a green or a blue, really anything. Any color that you like. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do the lock and key. Uh, together as one painting, but I had the idea before I started painting today uh, that it could be also done on two canvases. So one person could do the log and one person could do the key. If you were doing it as a couple's painting, it would be pretty cute. But we're just doing one today. All right, and then my darker color for the outside edge, I'm going to use more red and I'm going to also use a pinch of black. I still have a little bit of white in there too. It's a nice, subtle difference. Very Valentine's day -y. And if you're working quickly and like me, your paint is still wet, should be pretty simple to blend. But with acrylic painting, you can always go over things. So if you go too dark, you can bring some more light color into the center again, pull that back out or vice versa. If you're too light in the center, you can darken your edges. And this technique would work pretty much with any background color that you're doing too, as what we've done here is we've just created a tone of red. And that is means it uh, has added gray, so black and white together, toned down. If you'd like to learn more about color theory, I do have a course available all about color theory. If you need a refresher or maybe you've never had it, and you can learn about tints, tones, and shades, as well as primary, secondary, tertiary colors and how to blend uh, different colors. We have a little exercise in that one too, and that is available just on Skillshare now. And I will leave a link below in the description box for you guys to check that out as well. 
All right. And just like I said, you can adjust things if you need to. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of a darker and vibrant red to the outside four corners for my salt, but you can work your background however you see fit and whatever feels good. You wanna make sure that the paint has soaked into the canvas texture. And you have a nice solid coat of paint completely covering your whole canvas face. Let me just do a little bit more adjusting here, but we're pretty close to calling it good. Maybe a little bit more of a highlight in my center as well. All right, looking pretty good though. I'd like to have a little bit of color variation within the brush stroke so you can see like that was a nice example there of a little bit of white and pink within the brush stroke. That's just from moving my hand quickly, get that nice painterly feel. But let's go ahead now and call this good. I'm gonna let this layer dry completely, and then we'll come back and add our lock and key. All right, I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a completely dry background and some fresh colors on my piece of palette paper. So I can have some black and white and this time I also have a little bit of cadmium yellow and some burnt sienna warm brown. I've rinsed my brushes and got some fresh water at break as well. Let's go ahead and jump right back on into things. I'm going to grab my second to smallest detail brush here. And we are going to sort of do like a sketch but instead of using a pencil, we'll use paint. So I'm gonna use my white. I'm going to add just a little bit of water into my white so that the paint goes nice and smooth. And I'm going to do like a little bit of a, a crooked uh, composition here. I did a couple different sketches beforehand and I like the kind that just has a lock and key too. And remember, you can get creative with this if you're doing this with a partner. You could even turn your canvas long ways uh, too, so that one person can have the heart, one person can have the key, however you like. But these are going to be the basic shapes. So we're gonna start with just a really easy heart shape. And I'm gonna come down here into this left-hand corner. And I think I'll start with like a straight line. And then from there, I'm going to have a little heart shape like so. Okay, so I have my heart kind of coming off of the page there. It would probably end right about there. All right. And I'm just going over the shape a couple times just to adjust it. And then on the top, I'm going to have a little connector. This is going to be an oval part of an oval connecting up top there looking good all right and then for my key I'm gonna start with probably also a straight line let's do maybe right about there all right looking good and then here at the bottom is going to be the actual key part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring two lines out like so. And create sort of like a rectangle shape. And then I'm gonna come in a little bit. And then from here, I'm actually gonna have another heart shape because it's Valentine's Day. So why not have as many heart shapes as we can get in here? <laughs> All right, so that'll be our little key shape. And then up top, we're gonna have another heart. And I'm going to kind of come up and around here and spiral on one side. And then it would come up and over there and spiral on the other side. 
All right, I'm gonna grab my medium sized brush now for filling in. And as I fill in, I'm going to adjust this shape as needed. So I'm gonna mix up a gold color, which is going to be a warm brown with just a little bit of added yellow. All right, and this will be my base color. I'm gonna get a little bit of water in there as well. And I'm going to thicken up that center line quite a bit. And then I'll come in here and cover my sketch lines, but I want to probably use my smaller brush once I get down there. Okay, so that's actually gonna have a little bit of like a see-through element up top there. And then this whole heart in here is going to be gold. As well so let's just get to filling in a little bit of extra white perhaps needed when you need good coverage and paint always does dry a little bit darker tend to use quite a lot of white in my paintings. Okay, we're covering our sketch line and keeping things as even as we can make them. All right, getting those sketch lines covered. Looking pretty good. Pretty simple painting today. All right. And then, yeah, I think I'll probably just fill this face in with my larger brush and then switch to a smaller one for my smaller areas. I'll probably use my second to smallest brush. If you ever need a little bit more control, painting is all about building up that dexterity and making it so that your hand actually does what you want it to do. <laughs> uh, but until you develop that, try sticking with smaller brushes. Okay. A little padlock part. Coming from the top here, and again, getting those sketch lines, those initial white lines all covered up. And feel free to turn your canvas rather than trying to turn your body, which is what I'm trying to do here. I try to keep it, the canvas on its marks for filming, resisting the urge to move things around. All right, and then I'm gonna come in here and refine my little key shape. And get that covered. I'm gonna have just a tiny little gap there or our little rectangle part. All right, and we can have a little bit more of the key part. Coming out to the bottom, so another little rectangle for the key shape. Really want to make sure I have a cute little heart shape there in the center. Lean into our Valentine's Day theme, of course. 
Okay, pretty cute. Let's just refine things up top here as well now. Trying to make sure I've got a somewhat straight line. I always like to start a little thinner than I think I'm gonna end up. And that'll give me a little bit of wiggle room as I start to fill in. As I'm painting this, I'm thinking that this would be a fun one to do with a metallic paint. Things got a little bit confusing up here in my heart, but we'll refine things a little better also with our highlights and shadows. But I'm wanting the curve to come from either side and meet in another heart shape. Okay, don't need to be perfect. Let's see now if we can grab a little bit of a tone of this gold color. So I'm gonna add a little bit more brown just so that it doesn't get too muddy. I wanna keep with these sort of nice warm tones. I'll grab a little bit more of my warm brown. come in here and start to just kind of put another layer of paint right on that wet paint and you should get a little bit of nice blending naturally with what's called wet on wet and I went to the inside here and then for the straight part I'm gonna go on the outside Of both sides. If you go too heavy handed, you can add some more of your gold right back in the center. All right, it looks pretty good. Let's take that same tone shadow color here on the inside of my heart. This is another opportunity too to refine that shape. I'm constantly trying to sort of even things out, correct things as needed with each color that I add. I would prefer to this be a little bit skinnier, but it's not gonna happen too late now. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a highlight color as well, which is just gonna be that same gold. I'm going to take that down the center and then just a few brush strokes in each area as well. Looking pretty cute. We will let that dry then for our final details, which we will add in a minute, but that is sort of the idea here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my darker shadow tone color. So this is a tone because there's still some white in there too. So this is like a mix of all the colors on my palette. Okay, and I'm just going on the outside here of my little heart padlock portion and since my paint is pretty dry already I might grab some more of my base color gold there this is very Valentine's Day -y. <laughs> all right and I think I'll just have it come off the canvas there and not worry so much about shadowing the bottom. I'm going to bring my shadow color on the outside of my little lock part too. And again, we want a little bit of blending with this step, which is why we're not letting the colors dry in between. We're just adding it right onto the wet paint. And a little bit of help blending in here with some more of my base color. I'm 
And we'll grab some highlight color for this area as well. Pretty subtle, but really does make a difference. And then let me grab my medium sized brush again. I'm gonna grab a highlight color, mix up a little bit more for myself with this bigger brush. I'm gonna add a few little quick brush strokes there and then help that blend in a bit too. Okay, so we get a little bit of like shininess just sort of some interest there. All right, let's take one more quick break to let this dry just a little bit so that we can add our final black and white touches. Okay, see everyone in another couple minutes. Okay, artists, final last piece de la resistance step here will be our highlights and shadows, our brightest highlights and our darkest shadows. I'm going to grab a dark, dark brown color for my darkest shadows. And I'm using my same second to smallest detail brush for this. And my brown is still a little wet. And I'm going to come in here with my darkest shadow and add some nice little final details around each of my initial sketch lines. And that should make things nice and neat and tidy as much as we can. You don't have to do the outlining. I think it really adds a nice touch. It looks really good, but it does look, I guess, a little bit more realistic without outlines, but we're not going for realism today, really. We're just having fun practicing and I'm going to try to make that a little bit more narrow. You can see how that looks a little tidier. And up here we're going to be kind of outlining whatever swirls we got going on. I think that does just kind of pull everything together nicely. And our light highlights will also add a nice touch. And yes, just once again, final opportunity here to refine my shape. Always trying to sort of maybe Fatten things in some areas, thin them out in others. Get it as consistent as we can. All right. And then my heart is really simple. Just going to outline our basic shape with our dark, dark brown. I think it adds a nice contrast from the background too, because this is pretty similar tonally, our gold and pink. All right. And on our little lock part as well. Pretty fun for Valentine's Day, I think. I don't have a Valentine's this year. So perhaps you guys will be my Valentine's. It's okay, I love being solo. Flying solo, I got such fun plans ahead of me. I'm in a, I'm in a good place right now. And part of it is because of all of my students. I love, love, love seeing your work. By the way, I do have a Facebook group called The Art Club, if you'd like to show me your work. It's one of my favorite parts of my day to see you guys enjoying yourselves painting along. So make sure to join that and share over there if you are painting along. 
All right, my final little touch here also with my dark color, I'm going to do the keyhole. So I'm just gonna do a circle here in the center. Really simple and then just fill that in with black or our dark brown. Okay, and then we'll just have a little sort of tab coming down from there. A little bit of a curve on the end. Very simple. I'm going to rinse my brush and add my brightest highlights. I might sneak a little bit of this sort of beige yellow that I still have here, but for the most part, it's gonna be pretty close to white. I'm going to add a few little highlights. I'm going to favor mostly the sort of center parts where the highlight would be naturally. And just going a few places here and there with our final brightest highlight. You might need to add some more final details or touches to your painting. Okay, it's looking pretty cute. I think I'm gonna tone that down a little bit. Make it a little more subtle with a lighter yellow. And just a few brush strokes kind of along the heart shape here. And that looks pretty cute. I would love to know what you guys thought of today's painting. So please, again, join me over in the art club let me know in the comment section below which I think of it too and if you'll be my valentine. <laughs> that is all the instruction that I have for us this week so I hope you enjoyed painting along. Until next time, happy valentine's day, happy painting!